Hello, welcome. How do we evaluate this expression without the use of the calculator? 1 all over 3 or in bracket raised to 2 all over 3. So how do we solve this? It's easy. So let's take a solution. Now with this, first of all, we just have to rewrite the expression we have in here now. So this is the same thing as our bracket 1 all over 3 close bracket all raised to the power of 2 in a square bracket raised to 1 all over 3. Okay? According to the law of indices, we say that if you have your a to the power of your m n, this is equal to your a to the power of your m bracket your n. Right? And we can equally exchange this to give us our a to the power of our n bracket our m. Okay. So, if we use this to multiply this, it will give us this back, right? So, so now, we can distribute this power in to this quantity we have in the bracket, right? So, this is going to give us our 1 to the power of 2 all over 3 to the power of 2 all raised to our 1 all over 3, right? So, this will give us our 1 all over 9 all raised to the power of our 1 all over 3. So, again, we can use this property there to use this power here to multiply everything we have inside here. Like what we did in here now, we use this 2 to uh, 1 raised to this 2 and 3 raised to this 2. The simple um, synthesis law we say that if you have your A all over your B all raised to the power of your M, this is equal to your A to the power of M all over B to the power of M. Okay, that is the law we applied here. And we're going to reapply that same law here. If we do this, this is going to give us our 1, then to the cube root of 1 all over the cube root of our 9. Okay. Now, the cube root of 1 will give us 1. So this is going to give us 1 all over the cube root of our 9 here. Now, if we look at this, if we rationalize this, this we end up giving us the cube root of 9 all over the cube root of 9 to the power of 2. Of which it will take us back to where we are coming from. So at this point, all we just need to do is to apply another law. Again, we say that if you have your um, 1 all over the nth root of x, this is equal to your nth root of your x raised to your n minus 1. Then all over your nth root of your x raised to n minus 1. In other words, we have to multiply this by 1. Because this, all of us, this will still give us 1. So therefore, this is going to give us our 1 all over the cube root of 9 times the cube root of our 9 raised to 3 minus 1 all over the cube root of 9 raised to 3 minus 2. Sorry, minus 1 rather. Uh, sorry. Minus one okay because this this cancel out will give us one and this will lead us to this again right good so from here this will now give us one all over the cube root of nine there times three minus one will give us two so we're going to have here the cube root of our nine to the power of two all over the cube root of our 9 to the power of 2. Let's continue here. Okay, so if we share this carefully, this time this will still give us here, this will give us here our cube root of our 9 to the power of 2 all over. If we use this to time this, because they are having the same radical, 
So we can multiply the things that are inside the radical. So we take this radical here. So we have the cube root of our 9 times 9 to the power of 2. Okay? So from here, this is going to give us the cube root of our 9 to the power of 2. Then all over. Here we have multiplication and this is to the power of 1. The law of indices we say that your a to the power of your m times your a to the power of your n this is equal to a to the power of your m plus n. Look at this. So, so long the basis are the same, so we can add the power. So we're going to have here the cube root of our 9 to the power of 1 plus 2. So here we have the square of 2, we give us, sorry, the square uh, of 9, we give us 81. So this is equal to the cube root of our 81 all over. Here we're going to have the cube root of our 9 to the power of 3. So if you check the bottom very well, this we go with this. Now, 81 could be written as your 3 times 27 because 27 is a perfect cube, right? So this is going to give us here our square cube root of our 3 times 27 all over our 9 here. Okay. Now, according to the law of indices, sorry, of sword, we can rewrite this as our cube root of 3 times the cube root of 27 all over 9. This is 9, please. Okay, so the cube root of 27 will give us 3, right? So from here, this is going to give us, yeah, we're going to have this to be, yeah, we're going to have 3 times the cube root of 3 all over our 9. Okay, so here, look at this. 3 can divide this and 3 can divide this. So 3 here, 1, 3 here, we have 3. So therefore, we can conclusively say that our 1 all over 3 all raised to the power of 2 all over 3, this is equal to our cube root of 3 all over 3. Okay? So this is the final answer when we simplify this without the use of the calculator. Thank you for watching. See you in our next class. See you then. Keep winning.